Hi, this is John, and today I want to do a review about a great online software called Pictory. And in this Pictory review, we're going to talk about the different features of the software and how you can use it uh, for making really neat videos. So, uh, Pictory is an online software that allows you to make uh, videos that can uh, have text in them uh, or not, <clears throat> and will also uh, have AI voices or you can use your own voiceover. So there's four basic um, ways that you can make videos with Pictory. You can do an article to video where you can take a, a URL like a blog URL, press release, etc. Uh, put it in there and then make a video we'll, and we'll show that in a minute. Uh, script a video where you have some text and you put the text in and make a video. Uh, visuals to video, this is where uh, if you have some existing images or video clips of your own you can put them in and make a video and then you can edit videos with voice using text and so this is great so if you have a pre-recorded video this can actually add the you know the subtitles or captions for you and it can also act like an editor where you can uh, cut out portions highlight portions add intros logos outros etc um, so we're gonna just I'm really just gonna probably show these two because these are the two that are, I use most commonly and we can also do a quick um, uh, demonstration of this option. So article to video is, is nice. Um, say you're doing, you know, weight loss. Uh, if we go to Google, you know, here's, um, you know, Googled uh, a search on weight loss tips. And then you go down and maybe you find an article, you know, the 21 best weight loss tips of 2021, seven best weight loss tips. Uh, let's just say we use this one, right? And so we're going to copy that link address. We're going to go back to Pictory, Control V. We're going to put that link in there and then click proceed. And now what it's doing is it, it's not going to import the entire article, but like it says, it's extracting key messages. So it's using AI, artificial intelligence, to go through that article and pull out the important uh, aspects or messages in that article. And you're going to see the entire article show up here on the left side and then um, the extracted mess, uh, messages that it pulled out over on the right side. And, and so here on the left you can see this is the entire article. What's highlighted in green is what it brought over to use in the video. Okay, and so what you can do is you can go through and read this, and if it looks good, you can just use it as is. If there's something you don't want, you can, you know, like say this green portion, you can just um, click on the X and you'll see it's going to disappear over here. Okay, so now it's gone, or you can add it back, or you can add uh, additional uh, portions, right? Um, and again, if you want to take that away, you take that away. <clears throat> so, it's not going to use the entire article, but pull out the key points. And it tells you this video is probably going to be about uh, 1 minute 15 seconds. And so you can add or remove as you see fit. Um, and then what you're going to do is hit next, decide what size you want it. Now, the nice thing here is if you look down below, it tells you the supported platforms, right? So when you hover over this 16 by 9 landscape, you can see that the platforms that are highlighted are LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. 9 by 16, these are vertical videos, so this is good for Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook, but not, as you can see down below, not for YouTube or Instagram. And then the square, pretty much everywhere except YouTube. So I mostly make my videos for YouTube, and so I'm going to select this. And then what it's going to do is looking at the um, article content, and then it's going to pull media from uh, story blocks and it's going to use video clips and try to sync those up with what it feels is best so it's doing this for you so that's the nice thing you don't have to go through and you know put these together uh, one by one here we are in the video editor now the video editor is going to look this way no matter what type of video you're making from that home dashboard uh, let me just highlight a few things in this left side these are um, each scene right and so the scene that's highlighted is what we're seeing over here uh, you can also go through and select your scenes here or you can select your scenes here so when I click on scene number two now you're gonna see it added the video for scene number two 
Um, now, when we do go back to scene number one, seven best weight loss tips, you can decide if you like this image or not uh, that's being used or not, and then you can change it if you want. And you do that on this far left menu. And so if you go to visuals, um, it'll pull up the, the images from story blocks um, that are being used. It might be an image, it might be a video, so you can d designate that. You can also choose by category or it tries to pull out what it thinks are the keywords from the text in that video. So you can just search by keyword as well. So you could say just sort by weight loss. So you can click on one of the keywords or you can type in. So maybe you don't like any of these. Maybe you want a picture of a salad. And so you can type in salad and pull up. And then if you want to replace it, just click on the video over here and that'll replace it in the editor. Um, now, sometimes, let's sort of talk real quick about this specific scene. You can take the text, you can drag it around, um, you can, you know, center it, you can highlight it and change the size, you can change the color of the background, uh, highlight certain words if you want, change the font, etc. Okay, so you, you can change this uh, text. Uh, really to be about whatever you want, uh, etc. Um, you can edit each individual scene. So you can go through here and you can delete the scene if you don't like it. You can do a quick preview. You can trim down the video if you need to. You can add a voiceover. You can either, uh, for just this scene, not for the entire video, but just for this scene. I'll show you how you can add a vid voiceover for the entire video in just a second. So you can upload a voiceover for this specific scene or you can record a voiceover just for this scene. And then under settings, you can see there's things you can do and you can either do it just for this specific scene or for the entire video if you if you tick this checkbox. So you can loop the video, maybe the video is too short for the text, so you can loop it, which it's going to do automatically. You can hide the text, so now the text is gone. Let's put bring it back in. Whoops. Um, you can do visual, it's automatically going to do a visual zoom and pan. Um, Again, you can add a voiceover, the background music, etc. Uh, you can add a scene after this one or before this one by clicking on the plus either before or after that scene. And you can either add a blank scene, text only, visual only, text and video, or you can link scenes together. So let's go uh, to our next scene because scene number two is talk about struggling to shed weight and keep it off. And so it's kind of showing this picture of a diet. Uh, maybe, again, you don't like that, and so instead you come over here um, and, I don't know, search for something, maybe struggle. You know, so maybe you change it to that. Uh, maybe, you know, someone who looks like they're kind of feeling down. So you can easily change the video <clears throat> that you want for each of these scenes, and you just go through each of the scenes, make sure it looks the way you want, move the wording, take the wording off, etc. Now, as far as audio, uh, there's several choices um, that you have for audio. If you go up here, you can have background music. And so they do have, you know, built-in uh, background tracks. You can preview it by hitting the play button, and then you can apply it to the um, video. And not just to the scene, but to the entire video. Uh, you can save it as a favorite to use later if you want. You can, you know, change the mood. Uh, based on what the type of video is, what the purpose is, the genre, and the duration. Okay, so you can sort uh, the tr music tracks that they have in there. You can um, use their uh, AI voices. So they right now have some English, um, um, you know, U.S. English, U.K. English, Australian English, and Indian English for their voiceover AI voices. They're always adding more. Again, you can preview the voice how it sounds, you can slow it down or speed it up, and then you can apply it, and then it would apply it to the entire video. And then again, you can save that as a favorite if it's a voiceover you like. Now you can upload your own voiceover, and this is what I do frequently. You can just upload it, and then it'll sync it to the video. It does a really good job of syncing. You can edit um, the syncing if you, if, if you want to, so that's kind of a nice um, way to do that. So. Those are the audio options. 
you can change the style this so there's different themes that you can click on and that'll change kind of the, the look and layout now they do have brand settings and those you can establish up front um, and that'll just automatically show like the background color uh, the font size etc but then you can change the styles uh, in this portion and then lastly you can change the format so I know we selected 16 by 9 but you can change it here if you want you can also change the resolution from 720p to 1080p as well. Now, once you've gone through and you've edited all these um, items, uh, the other thing you can do is you can, you know, rearrange your scenes uh, over here. If you want to rearrange, uh, you can certainly edit the text by uh, double clicking on it, and you can add more words, take words out, etc. Um, so you have a lot of functionality here and a, your ability to change and add um, in the software. So really helpful. You can, uh, you know, it does auto save, but you can certainly save. You can preview the video. It'll generate a um, low resolution preview just so you can get a quick idea of how it looks, okay, and what it sounds like. So you know if you want to go back and make some changes. Um, now again, we didn't use a voiceover, so you're not hearing a voiceover, but you're hearing the music. And then when you're ready to generate, you'll generate the video, and then it's going to create the scenes, and then generate the video, and then it'll give you a uh, file that, uh, that you can download and use. It'll also email you once the video is done, so that you can uh, be, you know, you don't have to sit here and wait for it. It'll email you so you can come back and grab that okay so that is let's go back that's the article to video so that's helpful uh, script to video is what I use a lot of times so let me go and show you how that works so in script to video what we're going to do is hit start and then this is where you're going to paste in uh, your text okay so I have a, a PLR article um, metabolism boosting diet so let me just I'm just gonna take us you know a portion of this article okay and put it in and I'm going to use that and I'm going to take out that and just use that as my title okay so you can as you see you can edit things here I like to go through and just kind of pre you know separate out the sentences so they're not too long so it's not trying to pack too much on you know one scene but you can go through and you can make those edits. It does spell check it. You can highlight areas if you want. And then when you're ready, just hit proceed. Again, select uh, your layout. And then it's going to, again, go through the text. It's going to try and find appropriate video to use for each scene and try to sync up what it feels is the best media. And it does a really pretty good job. You don't necessarily usually have to change a lot, right? So you can go through, again, each scene either over here or down below and so as you can see you know it's not done a bad job again maybe you want to change a few scenes so many dice don't work because they make you feel sluggish or hungry and so maybe instead you can go over to your visuals and maybe we want to type in hungry search for any videos that have uh, hungry and so you know here's one and so it'll import that in here's a guy looking in the fridge look he looks hungry and then again, just go through that. You can again add your ad audio, you change your style, your format. Once you have everything done, then just, you know, say it'll save automatically. You can preview it, make sure it looks good, and then generate. And so this is what I use mostly is this text to uh, video where you put in your text. I get a lot of, uh, again, PLR content, uh, articles, etc. Um, and then once you have those articles, you can convert them into text to upload them. Uh, now, again, I don't really use this one too much, although you certainly can if you have your own, you know, video clips or uh, images that you want to use. You can do this. Now, this one's kind of neat. It's, it's almost like a built-in editor. Um, so if you hit that, we're going to just do it with the sample video that they provide. So you upload your video. And then what it's going to do is uh, transcribes the video. So this is... Uh, you know, the, the audio gets transcribed into text. Now, it's kind of neat because what you can do is <clears throat> see it over here. You know, it tells you how long the video is. You can play it if you want. Um, how, you know, how many lines do you want, you know, showing at a time? Okay. Um, 
So you can change that. You can show subtitles or not. Okay, so you can you can add the subtitles, and then you can also you know do several things: merge, split, edit. You can delete. You maybe certain words you want to take out. You can delete that from the video. You can add it back if you want. So if you're making a video and you have a lot of these filler words, uh, um, you see those there you can remove the filler words and it automatically takes those out. Or if there's long pauses of silence um, like this, then it can take uh, silence out, okay? And you can choose how much more, you know, how, how long you want to remove. And so then as you can see, it just took out that long pause right there, okay? So, and here's a shorter pause, so you could change that and remove that as well. And so you could, if you just want to, um, you know, have a video and you want to get the transcript, you can do this and you can download the text and remove the just the transcript itself. Or you can generate the video and then you can also do more editing to the video. So pretty neat. So Pictory is great because it does offer uh, so many different ways to make videos. Let's talk real quickly about pricing. So here we are on their home page where you can go through and just, you know, see some examples and uh, see more about what they talk about uh, but their pricing really uh, they have monthly pricing they do have a free trial so you can um, you know uh, and they do have a chart down here that shows you what you get for the different uh, pricing structure so with the free trial you can make three videos a month not too bad up to 10 minutes each so not a bad way to start um, but then if you go with their um, other options standard premium enterprise is not most people are not going to need that but so you're probably going to go with standard or premium they're going to have their pricing based on if you pay for a year in advance then it's you know 19 or 39 dollars a month versus monthly 29 or 59 but really great pricing for what you're able to do so i hope this review helped you i'll leave a link in the description box below so if you decide to get victory uh, click on that and this will it'll take you over where they uh, get some special discounts that can apply to you. Thanks so much for watching and uh, please click like to uh, like the video and subscribe so you can get more content.